I know the ability to save so much money comes down to the fact that we feel happy and content in our lives. We don't feel like we're missing out or deprived in any way. Life is so much more than just earning and spending money, but sometimes it really feels like that's what takes priority. Healthy habits are so important because at least 50% of our day is spent on autopilot. So creating good healthy habits can have a really positive impact on our lives. I am sharing these 11 habits today because I believe that they are truly life-changing. We all want to get the most out of our life, feel at our best and our happiest, and these habits can really help you get there. Mornings are my favorite time of day. The world is quiet and peaceful. By getting up an hour earlier than you have to each day, you are helping to reduce stress in your life as you will not be starting your day off in a rush, which can create a stressful feeling that continues throughout the rest of your day. You're also giving yourself the time to do the following daily habits. When I get up in the morning, I first drink a glass of water and then I sit down for 15 to 20 minutes and meditate. I've been doing this for years now, but if you are new to the practice of meditation, you may prefer to follow a guided meditation to assist you. You can also begin by focusing on the breath in and out of your nose. You may want to begin with just five minutes a day and work your way up from there. Like any skill, meditation takes time and practice, but its benefits are numerous and include reducing feelings of stress, reducing negative emotions, increasing your focus, increasing patience and enhancing self-awareness, just to name a few. If you have watched a few of my videos, you will know by now I am a huge fan of daily gratitude journaling. After my morning meditation, I like to sit and write in my gratitude journal, listing at least five things I feel truly grateful for in my life. I honestly believe that no matter who you are, there is something you have to be grateful for every day. Often we become way too focused on our problems and what we think is not going right with our lives. Regular gratitude journaling increases our ability to notice the positive things we have in our lives and move our focus to these instead of looking at negative aspects. The key is to feel the gratitude and not just go through the motions of writing it down. The next thing I do every day is to write myself a to-do list. I make sure that it's not too long and that at the top of it is the one main thing I must get done in that day. Then if nothing else gets done, it at least that one most important thing has been accomplished. I make this my priority for the day, but also endeavor to complete my to-do list. I often will put small, easily accomplished items on the list as this gives a positive feeling when I cross it off. Making a list of things to complete in my day gives me focus and a feeling that I have accomplished something at the end of the day. Mindfulness is the ability to be intensely present with everything in the moment. It allows you to fully experience the moment you are in instead of always being in your head and rushing through your days without really taking notice of where you are. There are countless benefits of mindfulness, including reduction in anxiety and depression, improved brain function and increased immune function, a lowered heart rate and increased awareness, just to name a few. Here are a couple of ways you can include mindfulness practice in your day. Slow down and take notice of everything in your environment. We are often so busy just rushing through one task in order to get it finished and get on with the next one that we don't even realize we aren't paying any attention to what we're actually doing. And our day seems to just fly by and we wonder where it went. Stop and engage all of your senses as much as you can to be aware of all of the sensations you are experiencing. For example, if you use this while sitting down for lunch, become aware of the feeling of the food or utensil in your hand. What does the food smell like, taste like? Is it hot or cold? Is it colourful? What can you hear around you? What are you sitting on? What does that feel like? We mostly just rush through our days and don't really take notice of our surroundings or what we're doing. Slow down and appreciate the moments that make up your life. 
You can also try focusing on your breathing. If you are having stressful or negative thoughts, try to stop and just focus on your breathing. Focus on the breath coming in through your nose, down to your belly, and then back up and out of your nose. Even just a minute of this type of breathing can help to bring you back into the moment and away from your negative thoughts. We have this one vehicle that we travel around in and it has to last us for our entire lifetime. By taking care of and respecting the body we have, we are more likely to maintain good health and feel the very best we can in our lives. Having a healthy body is not having a perfect body. The size of a body is not necessarily an indication of its health. Loving your body is doing what you know is good for it. I try to drink at least two liters of water every day. There are so many benefits to drinking water, including aiding digestion, carrying nutrients and oxygen to your cells, and giving you clear glowing skin. Try to drink two to three liters of water a day for optimum hydration. Eat foods you know are good for your body. 10 of the best foods that should be included in your diet are dark leafy greens like spinach, cruciferous vegetables like broccoli, Brussels sprouts and cabbage, whole grains like oatmeal and quinoa, berries like blueberries and raspberries, legumes like beans and lentils, nuts like walnuts and almonds, seeds such as chia seeds and flax seeds, healthy oils like avocados, olive oil and coconut oil, tomatoes, capsicums or bell peppers. Move your body every day, whether it is stretching exercises, going for a walk, doing the gardening, running, lifting weights, swimming, yoga, or whatever movement you like best. Finding a physical activity to integrate into your daily life is an integral part of looking after our bodies. Keeping your home in order really helps to maintain a sense of peace and feeling of control over your life. It also benefits you because you will always know where everything is. I have a spot for everything in my home and I always try to return it to that spot once I have used it. If that isn't for you, then try to do a clean up at the end of each day. Grab a basket and go around your home picking everything up and returning it to the places where you keep it. This will ensure that your home is tidy and will really help to maintain a sense of calm and peace in your life. The same thing goes for decluttering your things. It's an ongoing process. So once you get your stuff under control, keep it that way by doing a regular clearing out of your things. Just a few minutes each day can really help to keep things in order. Choose an area you want to declutter and set a timer for 10 minutes. Once the time has gone off, then you can end your declutter session. Doing this on a regular basis will ensure that you don't let your stuff get out of control. I think this habit is so important. Sometimes in a life that is spent striving to achieve and meet goals and deadlines, we really forget to take time out to do something we love. It doesn't have to be a huge complicated thing, but building this habit into your life on a daily basis can really make a difference. Some of the things that I love to do are really simple, like reading, connecting with my children, cuddling up with my husband, watching an episode of my favorite show, watching something that makes me laugh, taking a hot bath, or doing a puzzle book. I make time every day to do at least one of these things that makes me feel good, because life's about so much more than being productive. Taking the time to clean up my kitchen before I go to bed each night makes a huge difference to me in the morning. The first thing I do when I wake up is I head to the kitchen for a glass of water. If the kitchen is messy and disorganized, then this starts my day off on the wrong foot. It only takes a short time in the evening to pack the dishwasher, hand wash any dishes that are laying around and clean down the counters. The payback is so worth it. I like to read last thing at night before I go to sleep and choosing a motivational book to read is a great way to finish the day. I have a few favourites that I alternate between and these are The Power of Now and A New Earth 
both by Eckhart Tolle, Letting Go by David R. Hawkins, The Power of Your Subconscious Mind by Dr. Joseph Murphy, and The Presence Process by Michael Brown. There are a number of benefits to reading before you go to sleep. These include inducing a feel of peace and calmness, increasing creativity, helping you to relax and to get a better night's sleep. Beginning and ending your day in a positive way sets you up for a happier life. Too often we achieve a goal only to then set a new and bigger goal to take its place. Regardless of the size of your win, celebrate what you have achieved. Life is all about the journey and enjoying the process and celebrating the wins along the way is really about celebrating ourselves. This is another way that you can focus on the good in your life and create a positive relationship with yourself. Changing habits takes time, so go as quickly or as slowly as you want. Choose one or more of the habits and integrate them into your day until they become just a natural part of it. Take any of the habits you think are for you and leave the ones that you don't. Remember, whatever you choose to do, this is your life. So make the most of it, be happy and take care. See you next time.